Hello Virgos with a um, reading for the sign of Virgos. Um, I would like to, um, if possible, focus on love today um, for those people who identify with Virgo, depending on um, if you have a sun sign in Virgo or a moon sign or a rising sign or Venus sign, however you identify with Virgo. My intention is to focus on love in this reading. Now I've done um, four readings this way and each reading has come out a little bit differently. So um, I guess I'm learning along with the rest of the world that um, that there is some other um, higher power that is at work now and I must surrender um, at some point. So I am going to focus on love and then from this point out um, the story will be um, through the energy. Um, that said my friends please understand that this might not resonate with everyone that we're all different we all have different backgrounds. We all come from through different experiences in our life and we live all around the world. So please understand that um, while this may not resonate with you fully, it is my intention to have helpful information um, in this reading that could um, be of assistance to you as you move forward. All right, my beautiful friends, I welcome you to this space. I'm excited that you're here. I'm looking forward to the information that's coming out. So let's get started. Um, I will be going um, into the general energy and then out into the future, into the ne into the immediate future, which is the next seven to ten days, um, knowing that everybody is moving at a different pace. And so this might um, be shorter for you or it might be a little longer for you. In the extended reading, I'll be looking at the people around you, um, their tendencies and preferences and how they are. And then I will ask them how they um, how they think about you or what they consider about you as well. So we'll look into two aspects of the people around you and then we'll take this situation out into the future, maybe two or three months. That's my intention for both readings. All right, let's get started, my friends. Let's see what's here for Virgo um, for the current energy. Let's see what's here for Virgo with the current energy. Give me a second here to connect in with, with this deck. Virgo, I have, the, I have the window open just a little bit next to me, and I live out in the country. Sometimes there's a truck or a tractor that drives by, um, but hopefully it won't be too distracting. Just feel like fresh air feels good right now. And this is how the energies have been. I mean, it's just been, they, the cards have just been coming out so easily that um, it, it's almost, in a way, um, quite fascinating for me as a reader to experience this change in, change in energy, change in, I don't know, I think many of us are feeling it. There's like a change in the atmosphere, and I'm definitely feeling it in my work as well. So let's see what's here for you, Virgo. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Now... Tell me, when's the last time you've seen the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups next to each other? That's what I mean. Like, these energies are just so... Um, I, I just feel... And here we have the Hierophant in reverse. It's just so... in And, and the Hangman. So, okay, let me, let me get into these energies. And even as I feel these energies, it's like my abdomen kind of flips. The energy is flipping around inside of me. Um, and, and you could feel like that too. I mean, slightly nauseous even, Virgo. I mean, I think that you are sensitive to your environments. You're sensitive to the space around you and in the way that you carry yourself with the perfection that you um, are always striving for in your life. This period of time could be um, quite impactful for you in many different ways. Um, we do have the Five of Pentacles here next to the Ten of Cups. So um, I'm, I'm going to go a little bit deeper into these energies too, but I, I kind of want to go go in first, um, dip my toe in <laughs> and see what this feels like. <sighs> I mean, Virgo is a contrasting energy. These are all contrasting energies. Here you have the Five of Pentacles next to the Ten of Cups, the Hierophant in reverse next to the Hanged Man. It reminds me of those dog shows that you can go to or you can see on TV where the dog moves in between the posts, you know, like like this, you know, in between the posts, although this looks like a fish. But you know what I mean? In those dog shows, they have those little white posts that the dogs are in and out of. I mean, that's what it feels like to me, this energy. So when we when we go into the Five of Pentacles, I mean, this is an energy of, you know, fear, you know, something has something has left like there is something here that's left that's 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 missing right with the five of pentacles something's missing something has been lost something's missing 
And I think when something goes away, there is an emptiness, right? There is an emptiness. So um, whatever we're experiencing, whatever we're at a loss of, whether it is money, which is often the five of pentacles energy, fear of money, fear of consequences with money, um, fear of being alone, fear of isolation, fear of judgment, fear of a lack of information, right? This is usually how our thoughts can run and run and run. And those thoughts can engage with um, the energy of fear that we have in us, maybe from the fear that's been stored in us from old wounds, perhaps, old traumas that we have within us that have not been uncovered because it's hurt that's within us, perhaps. I mean, it's just what's coming through. And those thoughts can connect with that energy and that energy can build within us. And when the five of pentacles builds within us, we can forget what we trust in. We can forget what we believe in. We forget the magic of the universe. We forget the power that comes from our guidance system from above or from the earth or whatever we connect in with. We forget about that power. And somehow the five of pentacles can take over us for a period of time. So this group of, uh, of Virgos is, is really working to overcome the five of pentacles energy, which is an energy of change. So there is something here that's changing in the world around our resources, because pentacles are all about what we experience in our everyday lives. Money has a huge impact. Our homes, huge impact. The land that we walk on, huge impact. The environment that we're in, the trees. These are all things that we can touch. We can see with our eyes. Our feet can walk on it. Our bodies can lay on it at night on our beds, on our furniture. We cut our food and our vegetables on our counters in our kitchens. And we cook our food with water and on stoves. All around the world, no matter where we are, we cook our food on heat, unless we eat it nice and cold. So there is a change in the atmosphere or around us with how we experience those resources and the money and our daily operations. There is a change in that. And this is the first, so this is a message that is coming through that I've never experienced before. So this is something new that's coming forward to me. So I'm learning this as, just as you're learning this. And I'm finding again the value of my own work, which I have been questioning. And those of you who have been following me know that I've been struggling with the tool of tarot and how it can sometimes lead us into illusions if we're not careful, or I can guide someone irresponsibly if they trust too much in my words and not enough in their own inner guidance, right? I've been struggling with that. And now this message comes forward that helps me believe. And I'm in the five of the pentacles, right? I'm in five of pentacles. So this is what the five of pentacles can do to us. I'm in this energy and I am empathic. So um, even though you're hearing the emotion in my voice, this is what you all are going through. This kind of emotion and this kind of destabilization. When Virgos, you find great comfort in the stabilization of your environment. And when you're in the five of pentacles, when your environment, something that you really count on in life gets taken away, can really cause this kind of energy that I'm in. And look what happened. Now I'm feeling that energy is washing away. And here I have the 10 of cups. So it's almost like there is a refreshing, there is a reconnection to what truly brings us happiness. It's almost like this five of pentacles had to be here 
especially for this group of Virgos, because your presence on this earth, your kindness and compassion, your ability to think in a very special way, Virgo, that can help us wrap our minds around the bigger aspects of life, that can help us strive to do things the best way possible in kindness and in carefulness. This kind of energy finds stability in a very strong foundation. And when that foundation is shifted, when it's rocked, when the earthquake comes and shakes the foundation, even for this very solid group, the Virgo group, there is a destabilization and then a reconnection to what brings in true happiness. And this is what's been happening in these readings. I say I'm going to focus on love. I'm going to focus on singles or whatever I say I'm going to do. And there's a bigger energy. But this is love. This is love for life. This is love for ourselves and our bodies and our minds. Love for humanity. Love for what we have already. So there's a reconnection with happiness. Even in this time of shifting, there's a reconnection with the deepest happiness. Here's a higher font in reverse. I'm not sure if I've ever seen the higher font in reverse in my readings. I've learned in the way I've worked to have all of my cards in the upright. And if they fall out and land in the reverse, most of the time I'll take them unless I feel like I don't need to, or the, unless I feel like I understand that energy, then I'll put it in the upright. But this, all the cards fell down in the fa face down, so I couldn't see them. And this card is in the reverse, higher font in the reverse. To me, this signifies a destabilization of society, destabilization of systems, of religious systems, religious organizations, governmental organizations, associations, the way we operate as a group of people, what we believe in as a group of people, and then those actions that we take from our belief system and from the structures that have been put in place around us, the rules, the guidelines, the red tape, the way money flows, the way we think about each other and the actions we take towards each other, everything is in the reverse. So there's, is okay, so what's happening in our own personal lives is bringing in a new sense of happiness in some way. Some people are really losing. Some people are losing lives. Some people are losing mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, which reminds the rest of us what we have, right? And here, there's a destabilization of society, just like what's happening inside of us and around us in every personal way. What's happening inside of us in an individual way is happening to us in a larger way in the community's setting, in the state setting, in the government setting, in the agencies that are around us. There's a destabilization. And then what happens? New perspectives. New perspectives. New thinking a pause in reflection and how we do things as a people, as a society, as a one human, as a one consciousness. How do we regulate ourselves? So this is the current energy now that we, we're in, Virgos. This is a current energy that you're in, and this is a current energy that the larger sense of the world is in. This is 
this is a shift. And I'm not really talking about the word shift as in shifting dimensions. That Maybe that's what the message is that's coming forward. I don't know. I'm just saying that the word, this is a shift, is coming through. This is a shift in perspective. This is a shift in consciousness. This is a shift in how we think about each other and the actions that we take. So however you receive that, that is meant for you to be received in the way that is for your own individual reception. Okay, let's move forward now and see what happens with this love energy in the next couple of weeks. Next couple of weeks, please, for Virgos, focusing in on love energy, understanding that <laughs> as much as I want to control this and force something to happen, there's a higher message coming through. So we might as well roll with it. For some reason, I turned that one over. Knight of Pentacles. Love to see that, Virgo. Love to see that. Let's see what's here. Eight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. Five of Wands. <laughs> okay. Now you know that when we have the Knights, I am going to dig deeper. I'm not going to forget. I'm pretty sure I got all I needed to be said out of these energies. But now we have some really exciting things happening here, Virgo. First of all, we have the Eight of Cups. Now, the Eight of Cups is an energy of removing yourself from situations that were once inspiring for you, were once exciting for you, were once that you really put your heart and soul into, because this is an emotional energy. And this is a departure from that. Right? It's it's a departure. Now, what does departure mean? It can mean so many different things. Does it have to be a physical departure? Or can it be a, a way of belief system that's changing? Is it moving forward now to create your own path? to do something that you've always wanted to do in your life? To really re-engage with your dreams again, Virgo? To re-engage with what inspires you or what used to inspire you? Is it realizing that what's been around you, perhaps there are aspects of it that have been unhealthy or that you haven't really liked, but you didn't really know? Because the Five of Pentacles next to the Ten of Cups tells me that there is something that's missing, something that has been lost, or something that feels like you are not connected in some way. And then with the Ten of Cups, that is connecting in with pure love, pure bliss. And then we have the Knight of Cups next to the Eight of Cups. And next to the Knight of Cups is the Knight of Pentacles. And next to that is a five of wands. So if this is a love reading, I mean, there could be a new romance here for you. There could be new excitement here as far as a new love experience that you're stepping into. What does a Knight of Cups mean? We know there's only four energies of four movements in tarot. There's a movement of love, the movement of passion and excitement and fire, the movement of reality or the resources and money, and that would we can touch and see and hear, and the movement of thought and belief and expression. So those are only four. So this is a movement of love. Moving in love, the movement of love. 
And the fact that you're walking away here from something with your back to this card, and then there's a forward movement, and both of these knights are moving in the same direction, makes me think that you're moving in this energy. Now, there could be someone coming towards you, or there could be two of you. Maybe there is a water energy, an emotional energy here, right? And maybe there's a earth energy here. Maybe there are two people here that are moving forward in a different way in their lives. We'll dig in deeper and see what we can find here. But this is moving forward in energy of love, which is part of, which when you dig into the energy of love, it can be romantic love. It can be a deep spousal love. It can be a sisterly love, a brotherly love. It can be a love for extended family. Or maybe you don't love the person like you love your brother, but this person maybe is a second cousin and you love your family. That's family love. Or maybe it's someone in your community that you see needs help right now. Maybe it's an elderly person in your community that needs help and you go and offer something. That is community love. That's neighborly love. So there is a whole group of Virgo people now stepping away from old systems, old values, old structures in their lives and moving forward in this compassionate energy of love. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles here. This is an energy of financial improvement, an energy of restructuring, instability. So as this group of Virgos moves forward in a loving energy, they are going to begin to experience some sort of rebuilding of the resources around them. Because the Knight of Pentacles doesn't mess around. The Knight of Pentacles only moves when there's improvement or when there's stability, or when he or she is sure that this is going to bring in something of considerable improvement. Now we do have the Five of Wands here, which is conflict, which is a block, could be inner conflict, could be outer conflict, could be just hitting a brick wall is what he's doing there, hitting a brick wall. That's a phrase, I think. But look, I think even in this card, this is hopeful as well, Virgo, because look at the power of that sledgehammer. This is a very powerful person. And this is a very strong sledgehammer. Is that what it's called? Now, we don't know how thick this brick wall is. And that could be a scary thing when we don't know how thick the brick wall is. But if somebody built a brick wall, how thick do you think they would make it? You know, humans are very efficient in how they work, aren't they? How many times have we tried to get through something and realized that the person who built it didn't really build it as maybe as good as they should have? Maybe it looks good. Maybe it looks hardy from the outside. But maybe it's not so thick as we thought. How many layers of bricks do we think is here? How much money is someone going to spend to put layer after layer and layer of bricks there? Probably not very much. Probably not as much money as they should, right? Sometimes we can see a brick wall like this and really think it's a lot thicker than it is because we can sometimes focus on worst case scenario. Oh, it's a brick wall. Look what's going on now. I finally made it this way and here is some kind of blockage. Here's a brick wall. Do you know how heavy bricks are? I don't think, think I have this energy to, you know, and you could even be tearful here. Let's go into the brick wall and see what's here. And then we'll look at these knights. Tell me more about this brick wall, please. Tell me more about the brick wall. Tell me more about the brick wall. Three of Pentacles, something that you're working on, something about work, maybe very creative energy. Maybe this is about a job, working with other people, training maybe. 
Queen of Swords. What does the Queen of Swords do? She expresses herself. She fights for herself. She gets the message out. So this group of Virgos over the next few weeks or the next couple of weeks is going to be uh, making some sort of departure from something that they have really put their heart and soul into in the past. And for some reason or another, it's no longer um, fulfilling for them. It's no longer inspiring for them. Or they could be realizing that this gate has been opened now and perhaps there's a new frontier to be walked into. Maybe with the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups, or maybe with the reverse Hierophant energy, this gate is now open, and this person says, you know what, I've been in this, I've been in this garden for 20 years. This gate now all of a sudden came open for some reason, and I'm going to walk through it and see what's out here. Walking forward in an energy of love, creating stability and improved finances or improved resources as you move forward. And then here is this block. And this block has something to do with something that you've been working on with the Three of Pentacles, something that's already somewhat there. Somehow it's already been imagined. It's already something in some way, shape or form that you can touch the Three of Pentacles. It's in existence. And with the Three of Pentacles, there's this energy of excitement, this energy of optimism, the energy of industriousness. As you step forward and perfect whatever this is, begin to work at whatever this is to make it better. Maybe there's training. Maybe there is working with other people and learning from other people. Maybe it's shadowing another job, another person who does this. Maybe it's just learning which tools work best. Which kind of designs would you like? right? It's, it's, it's enhancing what you've already somehow started or what has already been started. And then you have the queen of swords. Now there's something that this queen of swords is protecting. There's something she, that she's expressing here. You might, this queen of swords, this Virgo group could be um, working with the queen of swords person, another person. In fact, Somebody who is like an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. So there could be another person here. In fact, we'll go into these night energies and these could be other people as well. So we'll go into these energies too. But there is an energy of protection, of verbalization or writing, somehow protecting whatever this is. So there's some sort of conflict here. And here you step in and you begin to protect whatever this is for you. And there is a choice at this point in time in the next couple of weeks for you to to decide, like, what's the game plan around this? What is your action plan around this work? Because there's something here that you're working to defend. And there's an action plan here. And when we ever have the two, when we have the two of wands, this is in how you're going to take action. What's the strategy going to be? And when we're, whenever we have a two, it's like you all are going to come up with a different strategy here. Because this three of pentacles is different for everyone. Let me see if I can get just another energy to go into the energy of the two of wands here really quick. I don't want to go too long on these readings because um, I'm just sort of recovering from an awakening that I went through. And so my energy is not as strong right now. It's rebuilding itself. So I have to kind of be careful um, and how I um, extend it. So this is a death energy. So I guess it's going to be, I mean, are you going to let it come to an end and start something new? Or are you going to let it totally transform into something else? Here, there, there is maybe a need to allow a certain way of work to end and start up a different way. Because this is about the Three of Pentacles here. And now there's strategy about the Three of Pentacles. And then the death energy comes out. When you clarify the Two of Wands, and now here's the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is all about healing. It's about um, inspiration, love. With the Death Energy... It's usually something that is forced to happen, right? You can fight it. You can fight it. But it's usually something that will happen 
at some point or another. And so maybe this is a situation here that has been, you've been working on for a while or your company has been working on for a while, or maybe there's a relationship here that you've been working on for a while. And usually with the death energy, it's something that you can delay, right? You can delay death. You can fight death. You can delay it. You can delay an ending, but eventually that ending will come. So that's the message that I'm really getting for the death energy. And then we have the King of Cups and the King of Cups takes action in his environment to bring in healing, revitalization, love, health, well-being, stability and emotions. That's what the King of Cups focuses on because the King of Cups is an emotional energy that wants to take action to bring in health. So, you know, we could be talking about medical people here. We could be talking about healers, people in any industry, whether they do it through their natural personality or where they do it through their occupation, where they bring in health and well-being to a home or to a workplace or to a community. So I think that there's some sort of strategy here that's being developed by this group of Virgos that is going to require some sort of change where some way of being has to come to a complete end. And then there is a new birthing of something. That's the death energy. I mean, you can't get around it. That's the death energy. And as long as we delay this, eventually it's going to have to change. King of Cups, rebirth, rebuilding, healing, revitalization. An energy now of taking action in the environment, in the space around us to bring in new love, new healing. So whether this is a relationship that you're going through, something bigger that you're focused on right now, like what's going on in the world, that is not for me to decide what this it, what this message really means. Um, I am just here to bring this forward. And I think it's going to mean something different for everyone. Let's go into the Knight of Cups and see what else we can get out of the Knight of Cups energy. Justice. Seven of Swords. I mean, see how interesting these energies are over the Knight of Cups? It's like the tool that I'm using has completely shifted. Queen of Wands. This is an energy of compassion. And when I go to, to clarify the energy of compassion and love, it looks like there's some sort of victory now, some sort of equalization on something that has been taken, something that has been stolen, taken. There is a change coming. There is a change coming that brings a refueling of the feminine energy, a refueling of the feminine energy. And I don't just mean females, males also can refuel their feminine energy. And this is the feminine fire. This is the feminine energy that helps propel us forward into new endeavors, into new adventures, into new action in our life. Because the Queen of Wands understands her value as a human. She understands her natural abilities. She understands what she's here to do. And she steps into that with strength, with vigor, with passion and enthusiasm. She can be harsh too, the Queen of Wands. She knows when something isn't right for her. She knows how to say it. She knows what to do. And there's new equality here with the justice energy, new victory over this. So when we take this energy of the Queen of Wands in this rebuilding the confidence kind of energy with the Queen of Wands and fixing something that has been taken and bringing in new equality into life, it's interesting that we take this grouping of energy and feed it into the Knight of Cups moving forward with kindness and compassion and love. Maybe this is talking about how we truly heal as a society. How do we heal from wounds of love? And how do we heal so that we can connect in 
with romantic love or a revitalized love or a healthy love in our lives. It has to be something like that. Let's look at the Knight of Pentacles and see what the Knight of Pentacles is bringing forward for us. Here's the Ten of Cups flipping over. That's what he will eventually get you to, is the Ten of Ten of Pentacles. Did I say Ten of Cups? Ten of Pentacles. That's what he will eventually get you to, is the Ten of Pentacles. There you are. Virgo, there you are. Ten of Pentacles. Maybe there's some sort of major life change here. Here's the Eight of Wands. This could be pushing you into a new enlightenment period, Virgo. That's what I'm wondering. I'm wondering if it's pushing you into a new enlightenment period. Because how do you move forward in, in love, Virgo, as a group? You move forward with kindness and compassion. That's how you move forward as a society, as a tribe, as a soul tribe. And here you are, like, turned upside down, but you're still moving forward into stability and into improvement. And here you have the Eight of Wands, which is action, communication, positivity, excitement about life, Eight of Wands. And here you are in the reverse. What you knew before with this Eight of Eight of Cups and with the Five of Pentacles next to the Ten of Cups, it might be totally changing here for you. And you might be doing something that you've never done before. Just like me saying I'm going to do love readings and this is the kind of reading that comes out. <laughs> well, these are love readings, but they're different than they were several months ago when I was doing them, that's for sure. Maybe I'm a different person now. How long do we want to hold on to our old selves? And what happens if we release ourselves into something new? Even for me as a reader. <laughs> what happens when I say I'm going to do love reading and it's not what I think it should be? Well, I only have one choice. <laughs> I feel like when I'm in this energy, that's sort of what you guys are going through here. The fact that we have the Knight of Cups in the upright with the Knight of Pentacles in the upright is so inspiring and it's so exciting, Virgo. The fact that you're in the reverse is telling me you're going through a major change. And you're busy too. You're communicating. You're in action. I don't mean that you're traveling here and there because many of us aren't. But you're, you're in action here somehow. And Eight of Wands usually means communication in some way or another. And here you have this battle on your hands here with the Five of Wands. That's going to require some sort of a strategy for you that has to do with something that you're working on. I like that the Two of Wands came out for this card, which means that there is going to be options for you to figure out how to do this. And I feel like this, this brick wall is not as thick as you might think. Because who would have the time or the desire, or the money, to make a thick brick wall many layers thick. Nobody does that. If anything, people make shoddy work. And, you know, so sometimes when we come up to this, we can think, oh, geez, there's a room that's full of bricks. I'm never going to be able to hit. Who does that? No one does that. So sometimes we can think that this wall is thicker than it is. And I'm maybe these are even plastic. Maybe they're even fake bricks, right? But look how you're coming up here. Like you, this, this Virgo is not afraid of this brick wall. <sighs> okay. So now this is really kind of exciting to do this kind of a reading. Now that I'm losing my attachment to what I think I should be doing, this is kind of a fun reading to be in. Not that it's a fun experience, although I think in some ways... There are so many very interesting energies here. The Eight of Wands, the Knight of... I mean, Victory, Queen of Wands is a great energy. So I'm kind of excited to see what happens in the next couple of months. I'm going to do that in the extended reading, and we'll look at the people around you, how they're doing, 
um, and how and what they're thinking about you, how what their perspective of you is. All right, my friends, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to read for you. And um, I will see you out on YouTube in another seven to 10 days or so. Thank you so much.